Hello, and welcome to Peter's Marine Service in Allentown, your number one Sea Ray dealer in eastern Pennsylvania. Today, I would like to show you the 270 Amberjack. Who says you can't go fishing and cruise at the same time? Well, that's exactly what this boat does. If I look at the back of the boat right here, I want to start in the aft side. Uh, right here, we have an access panel right in the aft of the boat. You'll notice that you have a light in this storage area, plenty of loops for your ropes to keep them nice and clean and out of the way. You have your dockside power and your freshwater pickup. Also, you have plenty of room for storage. Nice stainless steel grab handle right here. Stainless steel cup holders. As I go through the walkthrough, there is a door here that actually closes and opens. Very convenient. Plenty of room for your fresh catch right here in the bait well. Three and a half, four feet wide, very deep. which gives you plenty of room when you don't want to fight fish for your cut for your uh, your friends and family it also stores with ease in the upright position now you have plenty of room to fight some fish over here on the on the starboard side of the boat you'll notice that you have a, a galley area with your, your faucet which is good for rinsing off the floor or cleaning your fresh catch on this cutting board right here very nice feature to have in a fishing boat the size of this bait well. I can stick my arm all the way down in there. Enormous. Very nice to have on a fishing boat. Snap in carpet liner. You'll notice that the gunnels have built in rod holders on both sides, port and starboard. Very nice feature to have. Underneath the galley, cooler and starboard. Stainless steel grab, grab in there. On the port side of the boat, in the cockpit area, you'll notice there's a back-to-back -back seat. It stows nicely in the upright position, giving seating to people. It also lays out for a guy of six feet tall to lay completely flat with no problem. Very nice feet to have. Again, stows neatly in the upright position and out of the way. Stainless steel grab handles here. On the starboard side is the helm of the boat. And as you can see, I'm sitting on a thigh rise bolster here. If I'd like, I can sit down too. The helm is very nicely laid out. Right here, you'll notice there's a big area, and that's for your electronics. This gives the customer the ability to mount any type of electronic thing he or she wants right here. Very nice to have that option to do so. You also have the stainless steel smart craft gauges, which are very nice. Aircraft grade switches, built-in VHF with speaker, tilt steering wheel, and of course the lovely wood accent. Up in the bow area of the boat, I can climb right up on this on these steps built right into the door. On the bow area of the boat, I have an anchor chute and a hose pipe for your chain and rope. Plenty of room up here, but it's also non-skid. As I climb down, I want to take a look at the storage right in the floor here. Enormous. This is enough storage here to stow just about everything and anything you could possibly think of in this compartment here. This is an excellent thing to have on a boat of this size, especially when traveling in salt water. I'm going to walk into the cabin now, and this is, as I walk down in here, this is when the boat becomes more like home. As I climb down, the first thing I notice is this beautiful galley area right here with Corian countertops. This is first class state of the art. We have a microwave, refrigerator, the Sirius satellite radio down here with an MP3 player input. You also have plenty of storage space underneath and up top. Butane stove cooks just as good as gas. Very nice feature. Uh, up in the V-berth area, 
Uh, you have plenty of room up here to sleep several adults with ease. Um, you just use the filler cushions and you, sit, you set them in here on top of the table, which is placed right here. And it makes a complete sofa bed right here, which is very comfortable. Very nice feature. Uh, up above my head is the ventilated hatch. Um, you, can do, you can do three options with this ventilated hatch. You can leave it open. You can close the shade so that no sunlight can come in. Or you can leave the shade open and just use the screen so you can utilize the hatch when it's open for the fresh air, which is really nice. Uh, up, up in the V berth, we also have the mirrors placed nicely and the, the lighting is very nice in here too. You have recessed lighting up here, which is very nice. Uh, I have more storage on the starboard side in here. You'll have your stern light and your, your, your filler cushions for in here, stowed nice and neat. This right here is the cockpit table, which actually sits right here when you're ready to eat. Very nice feature. You have windows on either side, which actually open for ventilation, which is very nice. Also, this 270 Amberjack is equipped with a 7,000 BTU heating and air conditioning, which make it great for those super hot days and very nice in the spring for those chilly days. Over here on my left side is the head compartment and you have a nice vacuum flush head with, this, with the holding capacity in the aft of the boat. You'll notice right away that when I climb in here, I have plenty of room in this head compartment. I can go ahead and open up this window to allow more air to come in and it stays in its upright position. There's also a screen with this window. The head compartment is lit up. There's a nice sink in this and a storage compartment and it's also a shower for when you want to take a shower, which is very convenient. It's also hot and cold water set up on this boat, which is very nice. As I climb out the boat, the last thing I want to show you is the power plant behind the 270 Amberjack. As I reach down and grab the stainless steel handles for the compartment area, it automatically lifts so that way I don't have to touch it. You'll notice that there's a monster 6.2 liter MPI Merc Cruiser engine inside this boat. It gives about 320 horsepower to the prop. It's a Bravo 3 with the twin counter rotating stainless steel props. Very nice to have. You have your holding tank for your vacuum flush in there. You have plenty of room in here to do just about anything you want to do in the engine compartment. Uh, you have plenty of space uh, to, to put add additional items on the engine and to actually work on the engine if, if need be. Insulated to keep the sound down. It's also gas assist lift. Very nice feature to have. Well, I just wanted to say thank you for coming to our website and looking at our 270 Amberjack and enjoy the boating season.